As a medical professional, our obligation to our patients is to give the very best care possible. If you ask the typical patient what they fear the most about visiting the doctor or the dentist, many will say they fear getting the shot. Some fear the pain of the needles, others loathe the burning sensation during injection that can linger for a while. Believe it or not, that lingering pain has more to do with the local anesthetic being injected rather than the needle itself. Let me explain why this is. Lidocaine with epinephrine is an anesthetic commonly used in the medical community, particularly dentists, to help patients get numb. The local anesthetic has a pH acidity level of about 3.9. To put this in perspective, the level of acid found in lidocaine with epinephrine has approximately the same level of acidity as citric acid, which is typically found in limes and lemons. Can you imagine injecting something as acidic as a lime or a lemon into your body on purpose? The good news is, there's a solution that not only reduces pain, but increases reliability for the practitioner. Buffering local anesthetic is a process that has been utilized by the medical community for quite some time. It's a chemical process that neutralizes acids and bases. Before I explain the science of buffering, let's first take a look at how unbuffered local anesthetic works. We must first understand the agent being used, lidocaine with epinephrine. The high levels of acid found in lidocaine with epinephrine are a result of hydrochloric acid. This strong acid is added to local anesthetic to stabilize the preservatives and dissolve the powdered lidocaine into a liquid. Without buffering, we rely on the body's ability to convert the acidic anesthetic into a form that will ultimately allow the patient to become numb. This process can take up to 15 minutes. Digging deeper, here's how it works. Lidocaine is injected into its acidic form into the body. Now the body has to convert it to a form that will cross the nerve membrane, known as the lipophilic form. Once across the membrane, it needs to be converted back to a form that will act on the sodium channels, which are the guardians for controlling nerve impulses. Local anesthetics reversibly bind to sodium channels, preventing depolarization of the nerve. Blocking these impulses effectively renders the patient numb. Buffering is adding sodium bicarbonate to an acidic solution, such as anesthetic, to neutralize the acid. When sodium bicarbonate is added to lidocaine, the pH of the anesthetic is effectively matched to the body's pH. This allows the lipophilic base form of the anesthetic to cross the nerve membrane more readily. Subsequently, the buffered anesthetic produces a CO2 microbubble that easily crosses the nerve membrane and itself contains anesthetic properties that are not present in unbuffered anesthetics. This essentially produces an immediate effect. The CO2 microbubble once inside the nerve will help the anesthetic convert back into the active form, meaning the patient will now be numb. This is the cool thing. We've now put lidocaine in a form that will easily cross the nerve membrane. The CO2 will immediately convert it into an active form, which traps it inside the nerve. This is called diffusion trapping. According to a study by Dr. Richard Ketchlove, diffusion trapping results in a faster, deeper, more profound anesthesia. Boiled down to its simplest form, buffering brings the acidity closer to the body's natural pH. In turn, it reduces patient's pain, and it increases the predictability and depth of anesthesia, even in hard to numb patients. For the medical professional, this means you can be more efficient with increased accuracy and you never have to leave the patient's side when waiting for them to become numb. For the patient, this means a more enjoyable experience.